Hello everybody. Today, at least over the weekend, it's the 20th anniversary of the death of Spike Milligan. Ian Hislop recently wrote a book describing Spike Milligan as the father of satire and certainly he's had a huge influence on British comedy and is very popular with his witticisms are wonderful um, and enjoyed by many. But when he died, there was some dispute about what should be on his gravestone. His family didn't want to put um, what he had initially requested. Um, I think it implied a certain criticism of them. Um, and so eventually, when it was put, uh, it was put in Gaelic so that it wasn't always easy to understand. His family were Irish. But what it says in English is, I told you I was ill. And it does reflect, I think, uh, though it's witty in some ways, probably reflects something deeper, that he didn't always feel seen, not just by his family, but no doubt by others too, who could only see the comic, could only see the funny man, not the person behind it. And it reminded me how important it is to really try and see people and uh, of, of the Zulu greeting, which um, I'm told uh, is uh, translated as, I see you. When you meet somebody, that's what you say to them, I see you. And I, and I think that if we could really um, do that, um, really see the people that we are with, not just the facade, not just what we've heard about them, not just... Um, uh, anything that's uh, affected by recent difficulties in the relationship, but really see the person that we're with. And the reply, I understand, to I see you is, here I am. And because that's what happens, I think, when somebody really sees you, then you're able to be yourself with them. You're able to be clear about who you are and not to be hiding behind a mask. And so today um, I, I'm going to try and really see the people that I encounter um, and to um, hope that, um, that there's never a situation that um, Spike Milligan seems to refer to in his, in his epitaph when um, someone is trying to say something to me or is being something that I need to have noticed and I've completely missed it because I didn't really look or listen.